Hello, my name is Hergus Reja and I come from Abu Academy University, Turku, Finland. Today I'm going to present the content of our work, which is titled Data Collection and Utilization Framework for Edge AI Application. First, let me start by introducing the context on which our work is based. So we are aware today that uh, data produced by uh, recent technologies such as IoT or massive IoT communication, it's uh, exploding. Mm. So uh, different use cases will emerge in the future, especially with the 5G uh, and uh, different uh, industrial environment will base their business automation on AI application. So. We know that AI, it's mostly data collection. So uh, what we uh, propose in our work is uh, collecting large amount of data from different sources at the same time in order to have, uh, uh, to have uh, better efficiency in different perspective in terms of reliability, in terms of latency, in terms of power. Uh, so the goal is to define or describe an end-to-end -end, uh, telemetry collection framework, which is uh, then implemented uh, in a use case uh, and able to collect data from different uh, sources. Uh, we, in our paper, we investigate different edge technologies and uh, we evaluate their characteristics. Uh, we at the end, we measure the benefit of our framework and the latency it, uh, it provides. Let me uh, try to uh, provide a, a general a description of the telemetry framework, uh, which at the left side, we have uh, an edge node, which uh, runs an NI application. And uh, an agent also runs on this node, which collects uh, telemetry, available telemetry information from the application. For example, from the platform itself, and uh, also information is collected uh, from the network that this node is uh, using for communication. And this data is uh, sent to the cloud side where there is a data lake for the static collection of the data. Uh, later on this data lake, uh, you could do uh, analytics or uh, AI, as we told, or uh, we, you, you can use even real-time data for doing some uh, feedback on the, on the edge node. On the implementation, the real implementation, we use uh, Amazon Web Services for uh, implementing our framework. Uh, we based uh, our system on the edge side in the Greengrass. Uh, software. So basically a device uh, records a video stream and, threads and sends it live to the edge premises. On the edge side, it runs an NI uh, object detection algorithm, which basically sends the, sends the data to the cloud. Those data are basically are uh, telemetry uh, from the application. Uh, an agent that runs on the edge premises collects uh, utilization uh, data from the platform and sends them to the cloud also. So on the cloud side, we have rules that, for example, check the performance of the application, check the energy consumption, uh, check the, the efficiency of the model, which is running the AI application. And if those parameters are out of range, we can have uh, feedback. So we have a Lambda function that downloads a model from a cloud bucket to the, to the edge premises. Uh, what is the reaction time of this uh, telemetry framework? So what we did is measure uh, on two ways. So uh, measured the latency uh, of the device which is posting messages to the cloud, telemetry to the cloud through MQTT protocol, through the edge system. So device sends first uh, message to the green grass core, which is on the edge system. And then the core sends them to the cloud side. And uh, the other way is uh, directly from the device to the cloud through the REST FPI. So through HTTP in this case. And we saw that the latency provided by 
MQTT, it's uh, lower than the HTTP protocol, which makes MQTT very, very valuable for sending telemetry data from uh, different sources. So from the node, from the network, or from, uh, from the device itself in, in some cases. So to conclude, uh, I, I can say that in this work, we propose and uh, uh, implement a telemetry collection and utilization framework for uh, AI application on which metrics such as uh, reliability, latency, and power efficiency are, are very critical. We define the cloud side components for the data lake architecture, which then uh, later will serve as a valuable uh, data source for uh, training machine learning models. At the end, we discuss the reaction time of this elementary framework. If there is some feedback to be uh, set to the modem or to the edge node for increasing or decreasing the performance or, or anything else. Uh, so we saw that MQTT in this case, it's quite faster than the HTTP protocol. Uh, what we foresee as a future work is uh, basically uh, defining and uh, training some intelligent engines, which will be based on this telemetry data that we collect from application, from platform, hardware platform, from model efficiency and so on, and place those um, models on the cloud side of the telemetry framework in order to provide uh, more efficiency to the end-to-end -end scenario. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, I'll be glad to answer. And welcome back to the discussion session, this time for the paper, Data Collection and Acceleration Infrastructure for FPGA-based HAI Applications. We have the first author, Herges, with us here, happy to answer your questions. So if you have questions, please post them on the chat. Uh, let me start by asking the first one. Uh, what kind of sensor and telemetry data has been collected? So in the in the presentation, it seems there is a photo of a camera. Uh, have you collected uh, image data, videos, or something else? Yeah, basically the uh, the video stream uh, collected from the camera as uh, uh, is uh, viewed as a uh, as the main input. On the video stream, we do live inference, and the telemetry data basically it's collected from different points. So from the edge system from the network uh, and from the application also, which is the object detection, basically. And all these data are collected through this uh, telemetry framework. And later on, they are stored in buckets or they are uh, being processed live for, for doing some basic uh, rule detection and some feedback on the, on the edge node. So everything starts from the video stream, which is uh, collected live. And on that video stream, it's done the inference. Yes, thank you for the answer. So uh, do the deployment environment matter, like uh, hilly terrain, open spaces? Uh, no, in theory, it shouldn't be a problem, because uh, if there is a change in the environment, uh, you can upload to that system another model for doing inference, which it's more suitable for that kind of environment. So in theory, it doesn't make any difference. I see. So it's more like a plug and play different algorithms to deal mm -hmm. with different kinds of noise. And you can and you can do it live. That's the the beauty of the of the framework you get the live feedback from the in our case we did the implementation with uh, ivs amazon web services and you can use the the feedback loop for uploading another model to that system yeah thank you Herji. so if you have more questions to Herji, soon we have a discussion room then Herji will can join and then you can also join to ask for more questions Let's thank Herjis again for a very nice presentation and for answering thank the question. And next, after this, we will have a virtual coffee break as well, followed by an industry panel. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Thank you, Herjis. Bye.